Hi! Long time no see. It's been a while since I've done a toy video. I haven't been making content because I've been very, very busy with work and just life stuff got in the way. So <laughs> I have an afternoon off today. So much has happened in the Tamagotchi world in the span of the past few months. And I just feel like there's so much I need to go through and share with you guys. I actually have a huge unboxing to do today. A lot has been released in the past few months and I just have not had time to unbox or go through anything. Today is the day I finally get to play with some of these new stuffs. It's going to be a huge unboxing video video look how much we have to go through so i'll do the unboxing first but this video will primarily be a video for the tamagotchi uni sanrio version because i did a poll recently and you guys were most interested in me running that tamagotchi i'm also very keen to run it because when the tamagotchi smart sanrio came out i never got to run it so it's still new in box in my collection i'm very keen to give the sanrio version a go so let's just quickly go through what are in these boxes and we'll go from there let's start with these two boxes first. These should be my new Tamagotchi Unis. In the last few months, a couple of new Tamagotchi Unis have been released. There's the Sanrio edition, which like I said, I'll be running today. Oh my god, the characters in the Sanrio version are so cute. They also released an angel version of the Tamagotchi Uni, as well as a Monsters Carnival. I think that's what it's called. I'm trying to get this lucky band off of these boxes, but it just won't budge. Give me a sec. Oh, this is so scary. There we go. It's one of these super strong, stretchy ones. Also, I just remembered the reason why it's taken me a bit longer to film this video is because these actually got sent back when they were being sent to me. So I was really worried about them getting lost in the mail. The reason why they were sent back was I have three Tamagotchis in this order and they weren't able to ship more than two devices with inbuilt batteries in one box. So I had to pay for shipping twice basically, which is a bit annoying because I had to wait for things to be returned to the shops and then they had to send it back to me a second time. Let's open this one first. I'm just happy they finally arrived safely. Here we go. Yay! <laughs> they look even cuter in person. Oh, it's stuck to the box. Wow, they packed it really well. It's like attached to this cardboard. Ta-da! This is the Tamagotchi Uni Sanrio version on the top here with the Hello Kitty bow. And this is the angel version. Cutest color, honestly. I know the angel version is very popular because pre-orders sold out so quickly when it came out. But I think they're pretty well stocked everywhere now. So if you want one, now is the time to get it. Don't wait till they're like out of production in a year or two because the thing with Tamagotchi is once they're out of production they're crazy expensive like the Tamagotchi Ons they weren't like super popular and they were always on sale everywhere but now if you want a Tamagotchi On just do a quick eBay or Google and you'll know what I mean they are so expensive my hot tip is to always get things at RRP when they first come out yay and here's the monster version give me a second I'm just gonna remove them from this shrink plastic thingy. Yay, look how cute they are. This is the Sanrio version up close. It comes with all the Sanrio themed downloadable content. This is the angel version. Again, this comes with all the angel themed downloadable content, which are so cute. Here's a glimpse of a few things you can get on this one. Characters on the angel are honestly so cute. Whoever designed these, 10 out of 10. And this is the monster version. Again, it comes with the downloadable content, which is basically just a set of codes that you key into your Tamagotchi and then you can download all the monster themed contents. Here are the monster themed characters and things you can get on this one. I love Wupachi on this one. She's a little Medusa character. I reckon this came at such a perfect timing because I can run this in October. Before I start unboxing the Sanrio and start running this, let's do the unboxing of my last parcel. So apart from the Tamagotchi Unis being released in the past few months, Bandai also did something very, very exciting for us collectors, which is the re-release of the Tamagotchi Connections. 
If you're a 90s kid or if you were born in like the early 2000s, oh my god, the Tamagotchi connection was literally our childhood core memory. There's been so much demand from the Tamagotchi community for Bandai to re-release the connections. Tamagotchi connections were actually so, so fun to play with. It's always been such a dream for Bandai to re-release the connections, especially because they're obviously out of production now. So if you find one in a really good condition they're most likely going to be quite pricey i personally love the idea of things being re-released i like the idea of increased accessibility i know some collectors don't agree because when a rare product or like a special edition product or like an out of production product is re-released it kind of lowers the value of their collection i'm not judging at all that's a perfectly fair way to feel about a brand re-releasing things basically bandai re-released the Tamagotchi connections aka the V3s and if you're more familiar with the Japanese versions they are basically re-releasing the Tamagotchi Keitais. I think the entire community just exploded when Bandai announced that they were re-releasing the connections. It was just so exciting to hear and on top of that they had picked some of the cutest shells to re-release along with some new shell designs. Here are the shell designs that Tamagotchi US had released. These are quite easy for us in western countries to get and these are the shell designs that Bandai Japan and decided to re-release. They were very clever in choosing some of the most popular shell designs to re-release. When pre-orders for the Japanese shells came out, they were sold out so quickly. I did not even have to try because they were sold out before I even tried pre-ordering. But for obvious reasons, they literally picked the most popular shell designs to re-release. Bandai Japan already has plans to re-release more popular shells. They actually pulled out a poll for the general public to vote for which shells gets to be re-released in their second round of production which is really cool i love a brand that lets people choose what gets released in the future and stuff like that it's very interactive and you kind of feel like you have a voice out of all the tamagotchi connection re-releases i think my favorite was the melon soda shell i already have a melon soda in my collection this is the vintage version and mine's missing the original tag my collector friend pichi pichi on instagram she made me this little charm to go on where the tag is missing. This one is out of box and it's not in the best condition. It works perfectly fine but it's just a bit beat up. But this is one of my favorite Tamagotchi Keitai shells. The shell is semi translucent. It's kind of like a milky teal color which I think is so cute. There's an English version of this as well. Um, I have the Japanese version so this is a Tamagotchi Keitai. The gameplay is in Japanese. When I saw that Bandai Japan was re-releasing the melon soda shell I was like, I need this. I was a bit panicky when I saw how quickly pre-orders sold out. Usually I'm not too fussed about a pre-order selling out because they always have more than enough stocks when the product is actually released. But with just how popular it was you know after being a collector for 10 years i just know this is gonna sell out even on release day but then a really sweet collector that i had made friends with on instagram she was going to japan recently and she said that she would try get a melon soda for me i know how hard these are to get though so i kind of didn't want someone to you know be all the way in japan and just spend an excessive amount of time helping me get something but at the same time she was so so sweet about it and I think we just bonded through our mutual love for collecting these toys oh my god I was right about these being so popular even on release day because when she went to the toy shop to get these the line was absolutely insane and there were like a lot of people in line to get these hours before the shop even opened eventually customers had to go in um, in groups and the shop had to allocate times for different groups to go in as well it was absolutely crazy but anyway long story short she was able to get me one so the moment she was home from her trip she sent me the tamagotchi that she had gotten for me it is in this box right now i'm so excited but anyway enough talking i'm gonna open this now it's so well packed <gasps> This is the cutest thing ever! Look at him! We have a mutual love for young Mamechi. Isn't he like the cutest character ever? Like he's Mamechi, but a baby. 
Look how cute these clips are. And she gave me an extra Ichigochi. I love Ichigochi. She's such a sweetheart. Here's a Tamagotchi bath bomb. This one is really cute because not only is the bath bomb in the shape of a Tamagotchi, after it fizzes out, there's a little figurine inside the bath bomb. And these are the potential figurines that you would get. She sent me extra stickers. Look at these. These are like super chunky stickers. They're so thick. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. Look how happy Pochichi is. Oh, oh my god. It's a little pouch for your Tamagotchi. Oh my god. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh. Thank you for sending me this. This is the best. This would be so cute. With like the angel uni inside. I feel so spoiled. Last but not least, ta-da! This new packaging is adorable. The K ties used to be packaged in this like dome shaped box, which is really, really hard to reassemble once you've taken your toy out. But I reckon this one would be a lot easier and <laughs> Look at the characters on the back. Who is this yellow guy? He looks so derpy. A main difference I can spot already between like the vintage version and this current version is that I don't know if you can see on camera, but the new version is glittery, whereas the old version is just like normal translucent plastic. Oh, and also another thing I've come to really, really appreciate is all the recent releases have a language setting. So even though this is a shell design released by Tamagotchi Japan or Bandai Japan, it can be set to English. It makes me very happy to know that they've added language settings to these toys. Like by just adding simple things like this, thousands more people can enjoy them. Language is power. I say this as a language nerd who has a master's degree in languages so <laughs> i'm so happy with this unboxing oh and i almost forgot i also bought this keychain it's got like oil on the inside so the fillings move around and the topping is a kuchipachi ice cream with a little tiny blob of cream on top i might put this on my keys but i'm also low-key worried i'll break it because i'm very clumsy. Okay, so now about the Tamagotchi Unis, I'm just gonna say a lot has happened. First of all, they released Tama Portal. Tama Portal is this place you can go on to when you access Tamaverse on your Tamagotchi Uni, and through Tama Portal, you can download extra content basically. So, the first two downloadable DLC packs, so to speak, that Bandai released was the Very Berry Land, which is actually free to get by the way so if you want to give dlcs a go on the tamagotchi uni definitely go with the very berry land first all you have to do is go on to the official tamagotchi website add it to cart check out and a code will be sent to your email and using that code you can go onto Tama Portal and download your berry themed content. I currently have the very berry DLC on this Tamagotchi here. This is the OG first uni that they released. As you can see I have like a strawberry background. My girl is still a teenager at the moment but I expect her to turn into one of the berry characters tomorrow. The second DLC pack that Bandai released with Very Berry was the Love Mellow Concert DLC pack. I really really love the Love Mellow Concert pack because the characters are so adorable. There's a drum character that they introduce. They also have Pianichi in this DLC which is another one of my favorite characters. She looks so sweet and I love her little beret. This was a really cool thing to introduce to the Tamagotchi Uni and this is like on top of all the tiny little downloadable stuff that they are already releasing almost every single month. If you've never run a Tamagotchi Uni before and you've no idea what I'm talking about, I have a Tamagotchi Uni video that you can refer to. All the basics of how to run a Tamagotchi Uni would be in that video. I'm not going to repeat myself and go through all of that again so I'm just going to like go straight into running the Sanrio one today. Every month there's been like a Tamagotchi event and by participating in these events depending on how you do and how many days during the event period you've participated in 
you get different prizes like items, money, and we were able to enjoy all of these new features because the Tamagotchi Uni supports Wi-Fi. That's why there's been so many new things that you're able to download onto these devices and it just keeps the toy really fun and refreshing to play with because every single week, if not weekly then monthly, there's literally something new and literally something you've never seen before to look forward to and the events are always different, the event games are really fun and really challenging sometimes. So here's a close-up of the box. The Tamagotchi Sanrio characters are so adorable. I really appreciate how they incorporated some of the newer Sanrio characters as well like Kogimu who is I believe wheat flower? She's basically a blob of flower. I believe one of the earliest Sanrio collabs Tamagotchi did was for the Tamagotchi piece. Some of these Sanrio Tamagotchi collab characters were featured on the Tamagotchi piece so they've definitely recycled some of those characters. Let's unbox it now and have a look. <laughs> So here's the watch. It's got a really cute Hello Kitty bow themed watch face. The back is translucent. Look how pretty that is. I usually play it without the watch band because my wrist is way too small for this watch. It just looks so chunky and I'm 100% gonna break it if I wear it as a watch. Let's see what it looks like without the watch band. Oh, it's so cute. I love how the back is translucent. I believe it's the same for these two. So this one, the back is milky blue colored and this one, the back is like a this color here, like a neon transparent green color. For this one, which is the OG, the back looks like this. It looks so cool when you can see like the battery and the motherboard, but they've definitely put more attention to details when it comes to designing like the faceplate and the shells because, oh my God, this one looks so ugly in comparison now. I know a lot of people also pop out this plastic plate here so that they can put in their own um, faceplate on the bottom. I'm of course too afraid to do that. So I haven't done that just yet. This is what I was talking about. This is the card that gives you the DLC pack. Just be careful when you're sharing this online because the back is where the code is. I've seen collectors who've shared the back by accident and people have just like used up the downloadable code which is really really sad. People should not be doing that but just be careful. Keep that in mind. Like the code is on the back and there's a three use quota to it so this is the charging cable. It is extremely short. Also try not to charge it for too long because it might damage the batteries. I'll be popping this guy into this pouch here. <laughs> so cute. I'll be back. I'll be popping on a screen protector as well. So I'm just going to turn it on now by pressing the middle button. Why do the buttons feel different? It feels more nice to press. There's more resistance to the buttons whereas this one is more like L loose. <laughs> How do I describe this? Like there's just less resistance. This one is more press pressable, pressy, crunchy. Let's pick the language first, quickly set it up. I'll be back in a bit. So I've set my Wi-Fi up now and the time and everything and it's asking me to pick an egg. There's no good or bad egg. Like it's literally just a color preference. Let's go with the green one because green is my favorite color. So far everything is the same as the original Tamagotchi Uni. The difference would be after we download the DLC. So the whole setup process and all of this you can also see in my other Tamagotchi Uni video. Let's just wait for this egg to hatch. After that we can download the Sanrio content. So she's very sad right now because she's very hungry. Just gotta give her some milk and some cookies. You can't really do much with your pet when you first start out because a lot of the functions are locked until you grow into a toddler. The baby stage will only last an hour or so. Just gotta get through this bit and then we can look at the other cooler stuffs. Another thing you want to do when you first unbox your Tamagotchi is to do a system update. Now that there's the Wi-Fi function on the Tamagotchi Uni, they update their system quite often. This is quite important to do because the system updates give you new functions, gives you more playable content if they've released something new. 
so just do a check for new updates every now and then and if there is an update definitely go through with it sometimes when the updates are quite big it takes a while to download as well so immediately it will say that it needs an update and then yeah just let it update everything will basically autopilot it does everything by itself so i'm done updating it now and i've also popped my tamagotchi into my new pouch so freaking cute it's very cushiony as well and very nice to hold i believe this new update gives us tama search which is something new that i'll go over with you guys later i can't do anything right now because she's still a baby i'll be back when she's a toddler and then we can go through everything so while i wait for my tamagotchi you need to grow into a toddler i thought i might maybe open this bath bomb and see which character i got these are all the possibilities again i like all of them so let's open it i don't have a um bathtub at home unfortunately and i'm not traveling anytime soon so we'll just have to use this in the sink <gasps> Look how cute it is! It's the shape of a Tamagotchi. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna open this and it smells really good already and I wanna chuck it in the water. It smells a lot like vanilla. Oh, I'm so sad it's gonna dissolve in like seconds. Okay, water time! Here we go! So excited! It's rolling like mad. The bath bomb lathers quite a bit but the watercolor is getting a bit dirty, swampy color. It's a bit gross, but he's still going. I think it's come out. Oh, it's Mimechi! I really like her little swirl. Adorable. Yay! My friend gave me an Ichigochi. Now she has a friend. Does she sit up? Oh, no! There we go. I really like her little swirl. Ah! Her shiny eyes are so cute. So it's been an hour and she has now grown into a toddler. Now we have full access of all the functions on the Tamagotchi Uni. Let me just pop this out of the pouch so you can see the screen better. First thing I really, really want to try out would be to connect to Tamagotchis. I'm very curious to what the animation is when I connect them. So in my previous Tamagotchi Uni video, I haven't really tried this out yet. In order to connect the to you just go to this icon here and then you go connect i guess you do invite for one and visit for the other let's have both of them go to my sanrio uni so this one should be on visit and this one should go to invite this screen will pop up and it'll say connection code is 01 so i'm just going to put 01 on here Visit Mori, yes. Oh, that was so easy. Invite Mori, yes. I'm gonna try out play date this time. Oh, that's so cute. Now they're both on my Samuel Uni. running around probably playing tag now she's back home the next thing I want to show you guys is the Tamaverse events. I had mentioned this in my Tamagotchi Uni video that I did before, but I wasn't able to show you guys how it actually works because when I was filming that video, there were no events happening at that moment. But there is currently a Tamaverse event going on right now, so I'm going to use this opportunity to show you. So basically, you just go to this icon here where the globe is. Make sure your Tamagotchi is connected to the Wi-Fi because you'll need it um, and then your pet will be transported to Tamaverse and if you just hop onto Tama Arena here this is where the events will happen this little guy here is so cute just go in there 
and it'll start connecting, start downloading data. Once that's done, you should be able to access the event. There's usually one event every single month. So just go on their website because that's where they'll announce what each event is and what you'll get when you participate. Every time you try access the events, there will always be like a download screen. And once they've gotten that event data downloaded, you'll be able to play it. Usually events last around a week or so. You're only allowed to join the event once a day and you wanna play consecutively because that's how you'll get um, the most prizes and you'll win the most things out of the event. And in every single event, you'll get to choose a team that you want to play. Players around the world will choose the team they want to join. Basically during that event period, you want to help that team win by winning the event games as much as you can. This is kind of like a collective effort. It's kind of like being connected in a way with players around the world because you're collectively working together to win an event together. And if your team wins towards the end of the event period, you get more prizes. So I'm just gonna like randomly pick one. Join Quiche. <laughs> yes, let's do that. This month's event is fencing. It's a fencing game, probably because of the Olympics that's going on right now. Once I've joined a team, it says welcome to team Quiche and just go join game. You get to practice playing the event game unlimited times, but if you go play directly, you'll only get once a day to play this game, which is fair because everyone gets one chance a day and every team has a fair chance of winning. You can also go directions for the instructions of the game, but most of the event games are pretty self-explanatory. Usually I just go directly to practice and I don't usually have a problem with understanding how the games work. And yeah, I really like this month's game. It's a fencing game. See, it'll remind you that you can only play this game once a day and then you'll be shown to some really cute animations. And these are probably my competitors. Yeah, there I am. And here we go. Here's the game. Basically, this button is A, this is B, and this is C. Oh, I missed the first one. B, C, B, B. It's really cheeky because they change the positions. See, they put A in the middle to confuse you. So it's kind of like a reaction game. Oh no. You gotta really concentrate to be able to beat this. Otherwise you'll just be tricked by the positioning of the letters. Um, it's quite trippy sometimes. And when you try to go faster, that's when you like make mistakes. And, ah, this is really hard, but I really like this game. Um, I've played some harder event games before and oh, I swear I got that one. There are some event games that are really, really hard and really frustrating to play, but this one is fun even though it's challenging. Oh no, I'm running out of time. No, <laughs> I've 100% lost this game, but it's okay. I still get points and they will contribute to the team. I'm so sorry if you're part of Team Quiche, I have failed you guys. And yeah, I. I'm so glad I'm able to show you this because last time I filmed my video, there wasn't an event on. Maybe I should join different teams on the two Tamagotchis next time so I can ensure at least one wins the event. <laughs> is that how you guys play it? The next thing I want to do is to change the background as well as to get some of the Sanrio themed goodies such as the accessories and the items. And in order to do that, we need to access Tama Portal and to use this Tamaverse ticket to download the DLC. So I'm gonna show you how that works. In order to go to Tama Portal, you just have to go to this globe icon here, go to Tamaverse, just keep going forward until you reach this screen here where the rainbow ring is. This is Tama Portal and you'll see the word ticket here and this is where you'll be using your Tamaverse ticket. You'll be asked to input code here. Just press yes to register code and I'm going to very quickly input the code that's printed on the back of my Tamaverse ticket onto here and we can start the download process. Once you've put in the code, you'll be asked if you're sure you want to use this code. Just go yes and it'll be done. It says Sanrio Puriland. Yes, that's where we want to go. And press yes to download. Once you've confirmed download, one use will be taken from this Tamaverse ticket. So there are only two uses left on this card now. I can use another use on this Tamagotchi. 
or one of these ones at the back. Just make sure you use it only on the three devices that you want to use them because you cannot use this on a fourth device. All the tickets will only work on three devices. So the downloading has completed and you're given this really cute animation. It says Sanrio Puralan is here. Head to the Tama portal. Just gotta head back to Tama Portal. I think you can access the DLC directly through download area. This button in the middle here, you don't have to go through Tamaverse again. This will take you directly to Tama Portal. <laughs> A train comes through and takes you to Puro Land. Oh, how cute! It looks exactly like Pura Land in Japan, if you've been. So now we're inside Pura Land. Let's explore a little bit. What's this place here? Fluffy Ribbon House. Okay, this is Fluffy Ribbon House. Let's go in. Oh, it's Hello Kitty! This is so cool. I love seeing a collab. Jump with ribbons. Okay. Oh, it's a game. All right, let's try it out. I like how the trampoline is a ribbon. So this button is left and this button is right. Right. Yay. So cute how Hello Kitty's teddy bear pops up when you Press the correct button. Oh! <laughs> Did you see Hello Kitty and Mimi? Mimi's her sister. The one with the yellow bow. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh. <laughs> How do we win? Do we do 10 successful jumps? Okay, one more to go until we reach 10. Is that it? Yay! We've won! <laughs> Three stars! Woohoo! 600 gotchi points! Nice! We can do some shopping at the Pura Land shop after this. We definitely needed the gotchi points. I'm glad I did the game first. <gasps> oh my god! This actually looks like the Pura Land shop in um, Japan. This is very cool. We're inside the shop now. Welcome! Get kawaii items. Okay, so let's check out what Sanrio themed goodies you can buy from the Pura Land shop. First we've got... <laughs> it's the Hunkadon bun! Oh my goodness! <laughs> he looks so derpy! Then we've got the Wisdom Tree salad. The Pachako rice ball. Oh, that's so cute. It's He's shaped like an onigiri. Strawberry burger. And that's it. And we've got the snacks. Oh, it's Usahana! Flower sherbet. Melody Strawberry Cotton Kogimion. Oh, this is adorable. It actually looks like her head as well The star pancake. Let's look at the accessories that we can buy um, We've got the ribbon arch. Ooh That's adorable. The cornet arch. Milk plush. The V helmet. The friend cushion. And oh my god, it's macaroon! That's Pom Pom Pudin's girlfriend, isn't it? Friend headband. That's all the Pom Pom Pudin side characters as well. The headdress, fancy ribbon. Oh, there's a lot of accessories you can buy. And now let's look at the items. Oh, <laughs> the pudding bag. That's so cute. The ribbon box. Karomi's diary. Very interesting. Cinnamon cup. Ooh. Oh, you only get four, but. Still very cool. And we've also got furniture and room. Room meaning the wallpapers. So we've got the kitty wagon, kitty sofa, oh, the everyone's cushion. Okay, we need this. Let's buy this. And the everyone's carousel. And that's it. For wallpaper, oh, this is what I really want because my current wallpaper is so ugly. This is the kitty party room or kitty party wallpaper. The everyone's room with all the characters, I guess. Oh, there's only two. Do we want a blue theme or a pink theme? Hmm. Maybe this one to match the cushions I just got. Let's get this one. Yay! Out with this ugly wallpaper. 
Someone will come in to renovate your room once you've picked the wallpaper you like. So adorable. Oh, that's awesome. And these furnitures at the back, um, we can change in a bit. But what else do we want to try? I don't think we have a lot of money left. Let's see if we can buy one of these accessories. I really want the plushies. They look so cute, but I'm not sure if I can use a plushie yet because I'm only a toddler. I'm pretty sure I can already put on a headband. So let's do that. Do we have enough money? Yes, we do. Woohoo. Okay, I honestly have no idea how much money we have left, but let's see if we can squeeze in an item purchase as well. Which one do we want to try first? I'm very intrigued by this diary. Let's go with this one. Let's go home now. We'll go back to our home screen and we can try out all the little things we just bought. Hold on, what else is in Puro Land? Let's see. Oh, okay. This takes me back to the entrance hall. I believe you can also enter here. So let's give that a go. Oh, cute. Welcome to Puro Village. Let's check this out before we go home. That's so cool. This is actually really, really cute because I've been to Puro Land and I actually went recently and I went to the parade as well as the shop and they've kind of depicted Puro Land quite well on the Tamagotchi Uni, which is so cool. Like, I feel like I've been to all these places. <laughs> Let's leave Puro Land for now and return home to check out all the items and accessories we just bought. Yay, our living room's not ugly anymore. Let's change out the furnitures at the back. So you just go furniture, main room, and you can choose which furniture to swap out or to put in. So I can choose whether to put that on the left or on the right. I feel like I want it on the left so we don't block the star window. Okay, let's do that. Yay, the cushions are so cute. You can also choose to put the furniture in the garden. Like, oh, I have a little pet in my garden. You can buy stuff and put them in the garden as well. And I think, I believe, depending on which furniture you put in your garden, you get different pets that come visit you in the garden. Next, let's try out the new items. I got the Kuromi's diary. Let's see what that does. It's Kuromi. Oh, and my melody. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Oh, she's fallen in love. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. She's reading her diary. What else? Accessories. Yay! Look how cute she is with the headband. Adorable. I honestly can't wait till she grows into an adult. I'm really hoping I get one of the Sanrio characters. People have already cracked the code and figured out like which three snacks or three foods you have to eat before you turn to an adult to turn into certain very berry themed characters. So I've been using those hacks and getting all the special characters on this Tamagotchi here. I'm gonna go online and look up what I need to do to get the characters I like. And I'm really hoping to get the Usahana Mamechi here. This Tamagotchi here should turn into into an adult any minute now and I'm pretty sure it will be a special character from the very berry land so I'll show you when that happens and one last thing I want to kind of show you guys is Tama Search. This is also a new thing that Bandai has recently released and it was made available just via downloading the update onto your Tamagotchi Uni. Again, this is why the Tamagotchi Uni is so amazing. Sometimes they just release these like new games and new functions 
that you can play with and you can directly download it onto your Tamagotchis for free. Tama Search is basically this new function where you can go around, you know, walk with your Tamagotchi. Your Tamagotchi will be able to search different characters around different areas and there's like a whole list of many many characters you can collect. So it's kind of like Pokemon Go but minus the GPS. So how it works is from my understanding is that your Tamagotchi will actively look for hotspots and Wi-Fi connections and each Wi-Fi connection or each hotspot will take you to a character. I'm gonna show you what I mean. Make sure your Tamagotchi Uni is updated to the latest version. Press the C button here on the very right and it'll ask if you want to go to Tama Search. There's also a sticker button on the bottom. If you click into it, there are so many characters you can look for and collect. The goal is just to collect them all. I'm just gonna quickly show you how the searching works. It's very, very easy. So again, go to Tama Search and press yes. It'll tell you to be careful when you're out and about with your Tamagotchi Uni. Don't look at the screen while walking. And then a UFO is gonna take you outside and this is where the search happens. You can just let it run like this. Like you don't have to do anything. The search will happen automatically. It will pick up any hotspots or Wi-Fi in the area. So it says it's picked up this Wi-Fi here. Yay, this is my first Tama Search character. The more you meet the same character, the higher the friendship level will be. You can go around, you know, walk around, go outside where there is Wi-Fi or hotspots and just keep searching for these characters. It's really fun when I take this out to shops or like to the city areas because that's where you will pick up a lot of Wi-Fi connections and then you just constantly like find characters. It's really, really fun. There are just endless possibilities with the Tamagotchi Uni and I really really like that. Oh my god, I literally just caught this in time. Yay, I did get the character I want. So this is one of the special characters from Very Berry Land, the DLC. And I think she's like a meringue or like a blob of cream or something. I can't wait for my Sarah Uni to turn to an adult. I'll keep running both Tamagotchis for the rest of the week or maybe the month and I'll let you know how I go.
So it has been four days since I've had Memechi and I'm thinking of marrying her off so then I can start a whole new generation and in order to do that you just go to Tamaverse, just go to this pink building here and you'll be shown to like this dining hall area thingy. Once you're here you'll be able to choose who you want to date so to speak so just say yes to going to party and you choose who you like. I think I'm gonna go with this angel Momechi here. He's so cute. Look at him. I like how it's a Japanese themed date. Oh. oh, they get served green tea. You don't have to propose after the date comes to an end. You can say no and just keep raising your current pet. But if you do want to marry your pet off, just go yes. And you'll be asked if you're sure. So just press yes. Would living together be fun? <laughs> That's a cute way to propose. Oh, he loves her back. I'm so happy I got the Uzahana Mamechi in one go. I very rarely get the character I want in like straight up when I open a Tamagotchi. <laughs> you would know if you've seen my previous videos, but yay, we did it this time. I'm so glad that Bandai did this Sanrio collab with Tamagotchi. It's always nice to see any collabs that Bandai does. Oh, and we got a boy this time. But yeah, basically, I really, really love this Tamagotchi Uni. I just can't stop running the Uni at the moment. And for it to be like a Sanrio collaboration, it's just an extra cherry on top, I feel like. It's just so fun. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you would like to see for my next video. I was thinking I would do the Tamagotchi connection that I just got, the melon soda. Maybe I can run both of them side by side just to see how they're different or how they're the same. This year has been such an exciting year for Tamagotchi collectors, I feel. There's just so much coming out every single month. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. It's always nice to run something for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll speak soon. Bye!